One days, but it finally happened. We have measurable snow in Cincinnati. I thought we were going to make it, Kevin. We were that close. I mean, literally in the 12th hour here, we were able to get that little system to come in and move right on out. But again, if that's all winter's going to bring us, I'm okay with that. And now that the snow is out of here, right. it's time to warm things up for Let's the weekend. It. Sounds good. Let's move on to spring, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Not quite that fast. We're moving on to February, but hey, at least we're going to start February off on a milder note. Let's have a quick check on radar right now. No more snow out there. Everything that's falling from the sky now is light and it's primarily in the form of liquid out there. Maybe a little mist, a few showers parts of Brown County from Georgetown back over towards Felicity and the southeastern part of Claremont County and then cross the Ohio River through Brooksville over towards Butler and Falmouth and then you can kind of follow this narrow band of showers back across 75 through Dry Ridge and Williamstown over through Owen County out towards the Owenton community and then back in the direction of Carroll and Gallatin counties. We've got some showers down Interstate 71. Here's the snow from earlier this morning. You can see it is now a long and distant memory and it's gone at least for the time being. So that weather maker here it is tonight scooting its way through the Appalachians. I want to point out though, there's plenty of this what we call low gray cloud cover still left across much of Indiana and Illinois. So do not expect improvements tonight in regards to the weather. Just no additional snowfall. So as Steven mentioned, it took 31 days, but we finally did it. And that took us from our least snowy January ever and dropped us down to our sixth least snowy January ever. 2020 now down there today, officially shy of an inch, about seven tenths of an inch of snowfall. So as we bring it back downtown, one thing I'll point out, notice the visibilities and the low cloud ceilings. Yeah, fall can be a problem overnight tonight. 37 degrees officially at the airport. The winds are calm with all that moisture in the air. And as the sun begins to go down, there's no doubt that visibilities are going to drop here tonight. We'll have to see how bad it gets, but I'd be on the lookout for patchy areas of dense fog. We've dropped to two miles here in Cincinnati down to five in Wilmington, and I suspect the other visibilities will drop as the evening progresses. Temperatures are all above freezing out there. That's the reason why we didn't have any problems on the roadways in regards to the snow this morning and temperatures this evening will stay up above freezing even as the sun dips and that should make for decent ingredients for low clouds and fog. Here's your hour by hour forecast. There could be a few showers to the south and east of Cincinnati in greater Cincinnati proper. I think we're dry the rest of the night aside from a little mist and drizzle. So heading into the weekend, we're going to see things get a lot milder around here for us starting tomorrow, and then we kick it into high gear on Sunday. Here's a look at future cast. You'll see the chance for a few sprinkles or showers continuing to zip their way to the southeast of the metro area. That won't be anything heavy, but if you're heading down in the direction of Falmouth, Brooksville, Georgetown, Peebles, Maysville, you could get some more light rain showers through the evening and night. Otherwise, your Saturday is cloudy. Most of Saturday is dry. I can't rule out a passing sprinkle, but that should be about the worst of it tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then Sunday starts with some clouds, but then we quickly get into sunshine, southwest winds and temperatures make a run at 60. So we go from snow today to almost 60 by Sunday. In the process, though, we've got a gloomy night tonight to contend with. Cloudy skies, chilly, some fog. Again, about 32 for a low. There could be a few more showers again southeast of the city. Cloudy and milder tomorrow. Chance for a passing sprinkle, 45 for an afternoon high. I wouldn't rule out a glimpse at the sun tomorrow, but overall should be a gloomy day. Here's your seven day forecast. Beautiful for Super Bowl Sunday. Monday looks great. How about low 60s there early next week? And then Stephen and Cherie, we get a cold front in here on Wednesday, bring some rain and knocks those temperatures back down again. All right.